Welcome to a quick overview of the new presenter tools for Google Slides, including audience Q&A. This video will demonstrate using a mirroring display, which means your projector and your computer are showing the same image. To get started, there are two different ways you can go. The easiest way is to select the pull-down menu next to Present and choose the presenter view. This will open a separate window that has the audience tools and speaker notes. Audience Tools is where you can turn on your Q&A. Options include Start New or Continue from a previous presentation. We're going to Start New. When we select the option, a short URL is designed and you will notice it also showed on our slide. Go back to your presentation and select Full Screen. You are now ready to give your presentation. A nice feature of this is that the short URL does not remove from your slide. Your slide is resized and the bars on the left and right will actually get a little wider to allow the URL to appear on top. You might be wondering now, what do my students see when they use that short URL on their devices? When the students go to the short URL, they will come to a screen that says Google Slides Q&A and have an option to ask a question. If they are logged into their Google account, their name will appear they will also have the option to ask anonymously. Students that are not logged in will automatically ask any questions anonymously. Questions can be up to 300 characters long and all the students questions will appear below. This is a nice feature because if your student has the same question as someone else, they can give it a thumbs up and show you that more people have that same question. So you as the teacher now want to know, well, how do I see the questions? When your screen is still full size, if you move your mouse, your presenter view option will come up below. Select it and the window will appear above. Your students' questions will show up in the column and you will also see the th thumbs up and thumbs down for each question that has been asked. Because you are using a mirroring screen, you're just going to answer the questions like this. The present mode would be helpful when using a dual screen because it displays the question full size on the slide that you are presenting. To go back to your former slide, you would just click hide and the question disappears. So that's it for the new Q&A feature. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email. Thank you.